Well, the CEO of the company that makes the EpiPen is right now being peppered with some pointed questions at a hearing on Capitol Hill. This comes after a public outcry over the massive price hike for the life-saving medication. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor here now with more on this. Alice. Maurice and Christina, a quick explainer. EpiPens are filled with epinephrine. They're used to treat severe allergic reactions that can lead to anaphylactic shock. Lawmakers in the Committee on Oversight and Government Reform are grilling the CEO of Mylan. When asked, she essentially told them the company will not lower the price of EpiPens, which currently costs more than $600. And when asked if she thought charging $600 was too much, she called it a fair price. Will you reverse the um, increase uh, in price of EpiPens? So, Congresswoman, thank you. That we have by the introduction of a generic. It was the question everyone was waiting to hear, but not necessarily the answer they were hoping for. Many people incorrectly assume that we make $600 off of each pen. It's simply not true. Milan CEO Heather Bresch answered questions about her company's profits and her salary to often heated members of Congress. After subtracting EpiPen related costs, our profit is 100 or approximately $50 per pen. What was your salary last year? About 18 million. You got a drug that's been on the market for 100 years. Cost roughly a dollar. The actual juice that's in here that you need costs about a dollar. No, sir. We pay $69 for the cost of goods for the, for the, EpiPen. The price of EpiPen auto injectors has increased more than 500 percent. Seven years ago, it was about $100. Now it's $608 for a two pack. Late last month, Mylan said it will make a generic version of EpiPen at 50 percent less, $300 for a two pack. And they'll increase the value of coupons for many customers. What's the difference in the generic version? In Is our it just the name? It will be, we will, it will be the same product with epinephrine auto injector on it. Lawmakers also questioned a representative from the Food and Drug Administration about other options in development. I mean, one way to bring the price down is to have competition. Wouldn't that be correct? I absolutely agree with that. Hey, can you let the committee know, for the record, how many applications you have? You don't even have to tell us the name and how long you've had them and how long you've been processing. I'm you sorry, I, I can't provide that information. Well, that, I can't. That's not acceptable to come here uh, on this subject and not have that answer. Well, the hearing is still going on at this hour. Bresch was also asked if the company had plans to increase the price in 2017. She said no. Earlier this month, New York State Attorney General Eric Schneiderman said his office is also investigating the company. Maurice Christine. Some tense moments there today, mm -hmm. Alice. Thank you.